I'm super excited. Today's gonna be a different video. It's a hair care video on how I style and treat my blonde hair. And I have some exciting news. Be sure to stay till the end of this video because there's gonna be an awesome giveaway of Earth's Nectar products. Now before I do anything, I wanna tell you a little bit about the brand. I did work for the owner a couple of times and she is so sweet and so amazing. She came out with this line of hair care products that is clean, all natural, sulfate free, paraben free, mostly all essential oils and they work. I've been using these products for about a month and I'm gonna show you how I use them. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I announce the rules of the giveaway. Also today is such an exciting day because today is the Lana Del Rey concert at Jones Beach and I am ecstatic. I cannot wait to see her perform live. I've been in love with her since I was in ninth grade. Let's see, ninth, 10, 11, 12 six years and it took me this long but i'm finally going to get to see her live i'm like obsessed with her literally obsessed so if you want to know how i style my hair with maximum caution and just some tips and tricks on how to take care of blonde hair then just keep on watching right now my hair is pretty much towel dried with no product in it but before I start showing you how I style, I want to talk to you a little bit about hair care. The most important thing that you need to first figure out is what you want from your products. Personally, I'm blonde. Therefore, my hair is dry, it's brittle, it needs reconstructing products. What happens when you put bleach on your hair is the protein bonds break. So you need something to help put the protein bonds back together. What I like to use is this shampoo right here by Redken. This is the Extreme Shampoo with the Protein Complex. It looks like this. And I also use the conditioner. Now, I use the conditioner a little bit differently. Conditioning is number one. If you condition your hair and you add moisture to it, it'll improve a lot just with that step. The thing with an oily scalp is it can be a little bit tricky. You don't want to add oil to your scalp, but at the same time, your hair needs moisture. So if you have an oily scalp, what I suggest, which I do, I have a very oily scalp, but I have dry hair. So what I suggest is putting conditioner before you wash your hair. Saturate your hair in conditioner. And also what I do is I use some of this jojoba and tea tree scalp oil from Earth's Nectar. This right here is amazing. So I'll put a little bit on my fingertips and just rub it into my scalp. Let me show you basically what it looks like. It's like a little squirt bottle and it's oil, it's essential oil. And it smells good. It's made for just moisture to the scalp and it prevents dandruff and flakiness. And if you have that problem, then it'll definitely help. This is for dry and oily scalp. Put a little bit on my fingertips, rub it into the scalp, and then I'll go in with my Redken conditioner and put it basically everywhere that I have blonde hair. I'll put this treatment in maybe a couple of hours before I wash my hair and it does wonders. This combo right here is so amazing and that's actually what I did today and then I washed my hair with the shampoo. Now let's move on to actually styling it. What I like to do is I like to use this Earth's Nectar Nourish Conditioner. This is a leave-in conditioner. I don't like to directly spray it onto my hair. I'll just like spritz some in my hand and it's kind of like milky and watery. I don't know if you can see but I'll just put a little bit in my hands and run it through my hair before I do anything to it. And this gives it a little bit extra moisture. Now I find it more moisturizing than detangling actually. So what I like to do is I also go in with another leave-in conditioner. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. This one is really good for detangling so I'll just spritz that on my hair and go in and brush it and already I feel such a difference what I like to do before I blow dry my hair is I'll put in also a little bit of this Earth's Nectar hair gloss this right here is probably my favorite product from Earth's Nectar it's all essential oils in here and it smells amazing. Whatever you see in this bottle, that's what's in here. You have strawberry, some kiwi, some apples. I'll take a little bit. Now this is a dry oil, so you could put it on and it won't 
grease up your hair but it's still good for anti-frizz and moisture i'll put a little bit of that on the palm of my hand and run it through my hair while it's still wet now i use this a couple of times so i'll use this now i'll use this before i straighten it and i use it after i straighten it because it does so many things this oil is so versatile you can even use it on your skin now for the blow drying part what i usually do is i section my hair into three right at the top of my ears i'll section my hair off now i'll take this brush this is called a vent brush and i got it i believe for like no more than eight bucks at the beauty supply and this is my favorite brush because it has it's flat but it has the holes in the back just like a blow drying brush, but it's flat. What I like to do is kind of like do these motions as I'm blow drying, you know? I'm gonna show you in a minute, but I'm gonna speed through the blow dry because this blow dryer is so noisy and I won't be able to talk over it. What this does is it already preps your hair so you don't have to go through your hair as many times with the flat iron and it takes less heat to style your hair that way. Now the trick to using a blow dryer is I never keep it on hot. It's always, I don't know if you can see, it's always on warm. Now I do use it on the high setting, but it's always on warm because again, with blonde hair, you wanna put as less heat on it as possible. So I'm gonna do the blow dry and I'm gonna speed through it real quick. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. If my hair air dries, it dries like weird and wavy in some spots and like really super frizzy. But when I go in with the blow dryer, it still comes out frizzy, but I have to do less work with the flat iron. Now using the right flat iron is also important. This is like 300 years old. This is the PYT, I don't know, just this PYT straightener. I got it at the mall at this like big kiosk for like a hundred something dollars it was really good back in its day when it was new and it lasted me six years but it's past its prime and it's gotta go i have a new one it's coming it's on its way but for now i'll just do with what we have now again hair prep and heat protection are very very crucial here so this hair gloss i know it's an oil but Actually, you can use this as a heat protectant. I'll put two sprays of that in my hand and again, just run it through my hair before I go in with the flat iron. And already, look at how much smoother it makes my hair, how, how less frizzy it is. I'm gonna section it into smaller sections than when I was blow drying. Now, it is crucial not to turn the temperature up too high. Let's say, See, mine has a 180 all the way to 450 and it doesn't say the numbers in between. I keep it closer to, I don't even know how to show you guys. I keep it closer to 180. I never turn the flat iron on to 450 because that is just going to cinch my hair right off. I'll just pass through it a couple of times and I'll turn it inwards. So you get that nice little curl at the end, that nice little flip. And while I'm flat ironing, I want to talk about Lana's new album. Her music, it's so good. It's just so amazing. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It speaks to me on a whole different level. Her new album is called Norman Effing Rockwell. If you haven't listened to it yet and you're a fan of like mellow and like calming love songs, go check it out. I mean, it is so different from her other albums. Lana was mostly known for like hardcore, heavy drugs and heartbreak songs, but now it's just pure love and it's it's so beautiful. It's very hard for me to pick a favorite from the album. The track titled after the album, Norman Epping Rockwell. California, California is such a beautiful song. They're all beautiful. How many times am I gonna say that her songs are beautiful in this video? I don't know, but 
However many times I save, it's still not enough. The next best American record, how to disappear, is... I think my least favorite song would be Bartender, and even that one, I'm like... It's not bad. I've, I've had that song stuck in my head for like the past two days, and... I've been listening to it a lot. It's one of those songs that you definitely need to get used to. Love song is... I mean, she wrote that song in an hour and like... How? How? How do you come up with such a masterpiece in one hour? Doing Time. Doing Time is my favorite. And Venice Beach. Venice Beach. <laughs> oh my god, that... It is nine minutes. That song is nine minutes and the video is ridiculous. Like it's just, I don't understand it, but I don't question Lana's artistic genius. It's literally nine minutes of a car driving on the highway and the speed of the tape keeps increasing and increasing and it's just replaying the whole nine minutes. And then um, some of it is also like her and her friends hanging out or whatever. Don't really know what that means, but the song is great. And then doing time, the video for that song just made it so much better. It's not her song. The original artist was Sublime, the band. I never really listened to them, but she did a cover for that song and then she did a video and <laughs> what? She's just this gigantic woman. She's just like walking all over the world and like it's hot, it's summertime, she's thirsty, she's looking for a way to cool down. And she just, I mean, that's not all to the video. I don't want to give away any spoilers if you haven't seen it, but it's like, who, why? Like, who comes up with that? It's just so, like, fresh, you know? It's, it's entertaining. I just, I love it. I love her ideas and I love her process. It's just too big of a section. And then there was that song that she did, Don't Call Me Angel, with Ariana Grande and Miley Cyrus. When I first heard it, I was disappointed. Like, all she did was the very end of that song. I read the comments on the YouTube video and I read the comments on her Instagram when she posted about the song. And so many people were saying the same thing that I was thinking. Lana Del Rey saved the song. The song itself took me a hot minute to like it. I feel like, I don't know, it was kind of cheesy. It was. It wasn't my favorite, like it was cool or whatever, but I felt like something was off. Like maybe it was the beat and the words didn't match. But you know, again, like it took me a, a hot minute to get used to it. And now it's one of those songs that I can't get out of my head because it's freaking catchy. Like, boy, don't call me angel. I guess that's the point, right? Your music doesn't have to be good, it just has to be catchy. Do you see how my hair is already kind of like starting to lay? in its shape. I got a haircut recently. My teacher bodied this haircut. Miss Stewart, the one who was in my previous video, she's like a haircut master. Like, she's so good. I wanted the back a little bit higher because I wanted the angle to show through a little bit more, like that lob look. She cut it exactly the way that I wanted it. I didn't want it too short because I'm growing my hair out and I miss my long hair and I don't want it long again but she definitely killed this cut and if you haven't noticed yes i changed my hair color again and this is my final form i made it a little bit more ashy um my camera is really low and i just noticed and i don't know why so basically as i was saying before it's more ashy and this is my final form i'm not doing anything in my hair anymore I'm letting it grow out and I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Now, finally, I can say that I, I mean, I liked the blonde before, but as we progressed through each step, I felt like it was just getting nicer and nicer. So, you know, now that I'm looking back at it, it's like, yeah, I was blonde, whatever. But this right here, this is a look. This is my look. Now, I have a little bit of these stupid, annoying flyaways. So again, I'm gonna take my favorite product, the um, hair gloss. I'm gonna flatten it out. And this helps to keep the style. I live in New York, 
so the weather is crazy some days it's so humid and this product really helps tame the frizziness so that is pretty much it this is the final hairstyle this little lot of action let me go over just all of the things that i mentioned in this video real quick the um hair gloss leave-in conditioner with pure aloe and the jojoba tea tree scalp oil so the rules for this giveaway are you have to be subscribed to my channel follow earth's nectar's page i will link them down below in the description box and somewhere on the screen probably on the bottom follow me on instagram at inessa zav all the links will be down below and just leave me a comment down below telling me anything you know just so that i know that you entered the giveaway well that pretty much completes this video i hope you guys like it and if you want more hair videos like this give this video a thumbs up and I'll know to do more hair care videos. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open to it down in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!